It is time to cut the hair. And done. But seriously, I got a new haircut. Um, and today I wanted to give you guys a tour of my shelves. <laughs> my shelf. And this is my entire collection of dinosaurs. And what we have here, I lost the head of a stegosaurus, but what's great about the stegosaurus is that it literally needs roofed lizard. Why, why it was called roofed lizard? Because of all the plates on its back. And, and the plates were believed to control its body temperature, like to capture heat. And here we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. No, it's the king of the dinosaurs, though I doubt that I call the Spinosaurus the king of the dinosaurs because it was more powerful in every way. But what was great about the T-Rex is that it had a bite, why it was called the king? It had a bite force of over 4,000 pounds per square inch. Really able to crush your car like this. Oh, like a bite out of, like, why can't Mansley say, like a bite out of my hand sandwich, or like a bite out of my hand sandwich. And the beautiful one. Introduced in Jurassic Park, ended in Jurassic World. The Brachiosaurus. <laughs> this beautiful creature actually was about the height of a four-story building. And yet, why it has all these holes? It's its vertebrae. And plus, it needs room to breathe for the skin. <sighs> I gotta dust these. <sighs> And the other one is my Carnotaurus. Now, some of you guys may be familiar with this one. It's in Jurassic World Fallen King, but it's also in the Disney movie Dinosaur. I love that movie. One well, of the only Disney, movie, Disney animated movies that I like. Now, this was considered to be like a bulldog. It didn't evolve into a bulldog. It was considered to be like a bulldog because of, because of its short, stout face. And... And it, and it was called the uh, meat-eating bull because the Taurus, you can think of, um, I forgot, who the who are those dudes who, who do, Toro, Toro, it means bull, bring me the bull, bring me the bull, show me the bull, it me so they can kill it. Mastodor, I think. Let me know in the comments below what it is. But carno means meat, and it means the meat eating bowl in full. Now we have another one. Here, let me just go over. You can join me. Is, you may think this is a Pachycephalosaurus. It is not. It's from the same family or group as a Pachycephalosaurus, but you can tell it's a sticky mollock. Why? Because of the extra long spikes at the back of the head. And plus, it was more shorter. And finally, on the last shelf, no, wait, I still got one more, is my Parasaurolophus. One of my favorites when I was a kid. And I got one. But what's great about this is that why it has the horn on the side of the head, it works like a trumpet. Why they have to make certain calls for mating, communicating, it's because of this horn on the back of their head. It was like a trombone. Think of it, a horn, a trombone is a horn. They communicate like a trombone. And they're from the hadrosaur family, that's why they have these duck bills. That's why the family of hadrosaurs are called the duck bill lizards. And one more on this shelf is the Styracosaurus. Now the Styracosaurus you can tell it's a Styracosaurus because a Styracosaurus only has one horn on the front of its face and, and on one, two, one, two, three, no, those don't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight horns on its frill. Yes, these are horns, but there I call them spikes because it does count. And they only have one horn on the face. Fun fact, the, um... The front horn of a Triceratops is actually cartilage, and the first two bones are horn, or I think they're bone. But the front horn is cartilage. Why? Because it's part of the nose. And, 
and and while we ended off being my brony self, I have my friends. For friendship is magic. We have the ponies. Da -na 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 First we have um Twilight Sparkle, one of the main characters of the group, the Princess of Friendship. And I love the attention to detail well a little bit of detail on her. And originally she was a unicorn before she was granted by Princess Celestia for Jeez, I gotta dust you guys. Look, this might be worse. <clears throat> um, before Princess Celestia granted her the right to be an alicorn. And she is the knowledgeable one. Rarity is also knowledgeable, but she is more into the high society and fashion. And she, and she uses... Um, the help of Twilight's number one assistant, Spike. I haven't found him yet. But I wasted all my money on lightsaber. Um, but I didn't really waste I I love that lightsaber. Um, but Rarity is more fashionable. And, and she prefers the high society of life. And Riley lives in Cantalot. But she lives in Ponyville. And she lives with her friends. Perfectly great. But now, at the end of the season nine, she became the ambassador for Yak Yakistan. What was it? Flourishai is the more calm and peaceful and friendly. I mean, they're all friendly. It's just that she's more shy, like in her name, Flourishai. But unlike her brother, she is more peaceful, but she can be a little sassy and a little I'm trying to think of the word don't want to say anything insulting um she's a little more she can be quite shy but she is demanding at times well she's not really demanding like i want this i want that i don't want that no she's not like that she's more demanding as in you have to do this right thing she can get a little angry at times but don't make her angry or she will become the Hulk. Or she Hulk. I don't remember. Rainbow Dash is you may recognize her from the front cover. But honestly, she's my second favorite character. She claims a plus twenty percent is of everything. Like a twenty percent more cooler on a quiz, like you got ten percent, you got a twenty more twenty more percent. Boom! You got 20% more. That's good. Although you still got an F. Yeah. Um. Well, she can be a little egotistical. No offense. At times, she can. She can still be loyal to her friends and perfectly balanced. Plus, she's extremely fast enough to make a sonic rain boom. How is that possible? You have to want to. To make a sonic rain boom, you have to run at, to get a sonic rain boom, but I think she's more faster than a fire jet. Pinkie Pie is the more excited of the two and has a bit of a sweet tooth. Honestly, I do too. I mean, like, if you say, I have a sweet tooth, and vegans can say, oh, I, have, well, I haven't eaten meat in five years. Me, I haven't had a banana in a month. I mean, I had a banana yesterday, but I haven't had one in at least a month since yesterday. But but she is hyperactive. She can be sensible. She, I'm not saying you aren't sensible. Um, she can be a little too eccentric at times. But she also has the normal personality. Applejack is my number one favorite. Why? Because I used to lie, like her a lot when I was little. And then I did something I regretted, and then I, and then I, I look back on it, and then I realize I have to be more truthful of who I am, and that's why I came out as a brony. Then we have Kaden. She's the princess of love, along with her husband, Shining Armor. Great couple.